Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have 3x to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to 5x. Okay, the first step I will take is to remove 3 from here by dividing this by 3 and dividing this by 3. This cancels and now x to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 5x divided by 3. Okay, so the next step is for me to, you know, remove the power of half from the left hand side by squaring this and I will also square the right hand side. Okay, since I square the left, I must square the right. This can cancel that. And now x is free and it is equal to now, if you have this, understand that this square is for both the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to have 5x squared all over 3 squared. And then if I don't put this in brackets, I will be wrong because 5x is what is carrying the square, not x alone. Okay? So now x will be equal to 5 squared first, that will give us 25, and then x squared will come down, then this is over 3 squared, which is 9, which is 9 over there. And now the next thing I'm going to do is to cross multiply, and then 25x squared will be on its own, and it will be equal to 9 times x, which is 9x. Now bring everything to the to the left. So I'm going to have 25x squared minus 9x equal to zero. And now we have a quadratic equation. So what do we do? Okay, so we can factor out x because we have x common to both of them. So when I do that, x comes out and in here I have 25x minus 9 because x has already come out and it's equal to 0. From here we'll apply 0 product rule and that says and that says is either x is equal to 0 or 25x minus 9 equals 0. x remains 0 or 25x is equal to 0 plus 9 and that is 9. So what do I do? My x remains 0 or on this side, I can divide both sides by 25 so that x will be equal to 9 over 25. So therefore, we have x to be equal to 0 or 9 over 25. But the question is this, are we sure we are correct with this calculation? Are we sure that we are correct? Now, let's go back and check. Let's go back and then check. This is the equation, the original equation given to us. We have 3x to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to 5x. Now, let me deal with the left-hand side here. That will be 3. Okay, multiply by x is now 9 over 25, raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, any number to the power of 1 over 2 will give you the square root of that number. So we have square root of 9. Okay, let me write square root first. We have square root of 9 over 25. Okay, 3 times square root of 9 over 25, and that will be 3 multiply by square root of 9 is 3 and then square root of 25 is 5. And then when we work this, it's going to be 3 times 3 which will give 9 all over 5. So the left hand side is 5. Now let us try the right hand side where we have 5x. Now 5x here will be 5 multiplied by x is 9 over 25 okay now 5 can go here 1 
and five can go here, so that we'll have five. And at the end of the day, we have nine over five. So this means that we are correct. Okay, so this means that we are correct to say x is equal to 9 over 25. Thank you for watching.